Hi everyone, welcome to Kawaii Collectible Dolls. And since I am doing some sewing today and I have some naked dolls around me uh, who I am sewing for, I thought now would be a good time to do a quick video and show you some differences between these dolls. I've had a few people ask me about them and they are quite different, especially this doll over here as you can tell. So, you know, excuse the dolly nudity, but that's what this whole video is basically about is the difference in doll uh, sizes as far as the body goes and so the only way to do that is to show them without any clothes on. So I have an Our Generation, I have an American Girl doll, and I have a Girl for All Times. So clearly this doll is quite a bit smaller than these two dolls. Um, these two dolls are 18 inches high, this one is 16 inches high. Um, when you when you're sewing for these dolls, especially these two here, the 18 inch dolls, they are very similar in size. A lot of the dresses and other clothing items I make for them, uh, you can interchange them. Um, their shoes, you could, they can wear the same shoes and that kind of thing. However, uh, I noticed recently I was doing um, some little dresses that I, I had set them up so that they could be just pulled over their heads. Um, let me see if I have, there you go these here okay I might do a video about these uh, this little pattern this is a free pattern I got online and um, so here's one I'm in the middle of finishing up and you can see it's got these little ties on the end well I made these for some uh, younger kids and I realized that tying them up might be a little bit of a pain and you make a casing up at the top and insert the tie so they could accidentally pull the casing out and you know that would be a royal pain so what I decided to do is I stitched the bows closed and made them so that they could just be pulled over their heads however as I started to do that I realized what a large difference there is between these two dolls um, in some respects because as you can see here all right um, this dolls actually narrower up around the chest area then then this doll the our generation is um, smaller than this doll and then but then when it comes to the tummy area the our generation doll is bigger than the American girl doll so just to give you and I mean they're all going to vary a little bit because their bodies are stuffed but to give you an example here let me put this tape measure around And this doll here is about ten and a quarter inches in her waist. And then this gal is about eleven and a half. So quite a big difference. However, when I measure them across here shoulder to shoulder this doll's about six inches and this doll's more about six and a half inches so when I was making those dresses getting them to go over their heads um, I had to make them a little bit on the loose side because it's narrow up here but then you've got the big head so anyway there's some differences <laughs> and then now as far as this doll this is a girl for all times you can see that these dolls have more of a childish uh, body, um, you know, no no breasts or anything like that. Her, the American Girl doll, is narrower through here, so she's kind of, you know, growing a little bit up here. So this, to me, this doll looks more like a, you know, maybe a five-year-old body, you know, if it was an actual little girl. And this is more like maybe 10, 11 years old. And then obviously this doll's starting to get pubescent here. She's got some little little tatas, um, and she's much narrower through here. Um, obviously she's got the limbs that twist a little bit. She's um, she's got you know cords in her, so she is jointed, but her legs won't stay. Like you, you can bend them. There you can see the cording, but it's not going to stay bent like a like a an actual BJD doll will say bet hers won't unless you unless you hold them um, and then kind of same with the bot the arms the arms go this way and this way so you can do things like put them behind their body 
and that kind of thing. Um, but she's much narrower. I think I measured her here. She was, oh, I lost my tape measure. There you go. I want to say she was like about seven inches. And you can't really get her right underneath because of her, how she's more hourglass shaped. So, yeah, she's about seven and a quarter inches right in here. As far as her waist goes, her waist is about seven inches. And she's much more anatomically got something going on. She's got a little butt crack. Um, you know, she's more lifelike, I would say, because of course her body is a uh, hard plastic, the nylon or the vinyl, not the soft, uh, stuffed type of body. This doll also, she had, this is, um, the doll that is from the Tudor period, Matilda. And you can see she has a teeny tiny bit of staining here from her, the outfit that she came in the stock. Uh, in fact, let's see, I have, here is an undergarment. So this, this was under this dress, this skirt. So this obviously stained this. Um, and then she also had this underneath and this underneath. Um, this was on her, yeah, this was directly on her body. These were like her underwear. And then this was over the top of it. And then this was over that. But even with all that, she has this teensy bit of staining there. And I used a magic eraser um, and it would not, does not come off. Um, I'm not totally freaked out about it. I actually had heard that that was the case with her, so I wasn't surprised. Um, and she actually has some intentional blushing on her body here. You can see on her, on her neck area. And, um, there were a few other like marks on her body, but I got them off very easily with magic eraser. Did not take much at all. So, so yeah, you can see, obviously, the um, A Girl Floor All Time is quite a bit smaller, but her body is more uh, shaped like a, you know, like a 12-year-old girl, like a um, early, just going into puberty type age. And these girls, I would say this is probably a little bit younger, and then this doll to me is even younger. Um, but at least that's my take on it. If you would like to let me know what you think about the differences in the doll shapes and uh, what their, you know, uh, ages are supposedly if they were to be actual little girls, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I guess that's it. You guys have a wonderful dolly day and yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>